Welcome back, it's Group C, and this time Ivory Coast might do it! In 2006, they got drawn into the Group of Death, and they finished third, which is one spot away from advancing. In 2010, they got drawn into the Group of Death, and finished third, which is one spot away from advancing. This time, they get Japan, and they get Greece, not football powerhouses, but in a tournament that's about history and heritage, not about football, you never know. This is why we play the games. Here's Group C. Win three points, tie one point, Colombia, Greece, here we go, the Curse of Montserrat. Downtown Bogota is dominated by Montserrat, a mountain that's catnip for tourists because of its panoramic views of the landscape. The apex is also a religious center frequented by faithful followers who bring requests for miracles. But legend has it, couples who visit Montserrat together inevitably split up. It's the curse. Greece responds with hand games. It's my little sister, doesn't she look so nice out there? And it's like, what are you doing? In Greece, that's called the mutza, and it's on par with flipping the bird. To accentuate it, you do it with both hands, or you point your fingers like it's a curse. The name comes from an ancient penal code. Criminals sat backwards on a donkey with their face smeared with cinder, called mutsos. Mutsos? Mutsa. Sometimes they went for something nastier than cinder, but the nickname Poopsa doesn't have the same ring to it. Kicking off Group C, here's Alex. There is nothing better than weird cultural nuance. Greece, three to one. Well said. Next, it's Ivory Coast Japan, and Ivory Coast opens with Marie Therese Houfouet Boigny. They call her the Jackie Kennedy of Africa, and for good reason. Marie Therese Houfouet Boigny served as Ivory Coast's first lady for 33 years. Her husband Felix was president from Ivory Coast's independence until his death. In a country where the fertility rate is 4.5 births per woman, MTHB was a crusader for child care and children's rights, even going so far as to co-found a comic strip so African children had a hero to look up to. Japan's response is the sad tale of Congo Gumi. What was Congo Gumi? It was the world's oldest and longest running company. Anywhere. Founded in 578 AD, Kongo Gumi was a construction company that specialized in Buddhist temples. It operated for 1,400 years and was passed down through 40 generations. The streak ended in 2006 when it was liquidated and bought up by the Takamatsu Corporation. Now here to decide, welcome back Ryan. There was a construction company in 578 AD? I'd love to see their logo. Japan, 3-0. There you go. Colombia versus Ivory Coast, and Colombia brings us Ciudad Perdida. Literally translates to Lost City. Hidden in the jungle outside Sierra Nevada, Ciudad Perdida consists of an intricate network of 169 terraces carved into the mountainside in the 9th century. The Spanish, and the smallpox, chased out the residents over time. The only metal that researchers ever found there was gold, so one mystery persists. How did they cut the rocks? Ivory Coast responds with... Fate du Dupree. If you find yourself vacationing in Gamon in the Ivory Coast in mid-April, brace yourself for Fate du Dupree. Around midnight, naked women and children sneak out of their huts and perform rites to exorcise the village's malicious spirits. Before sunrise, the village chief makes a brief appearance and pounds a drum, sending the villagers into trances. This only ends later the following day when the evil spirits leave, which breaks the trance. Fair amount of mystery here. Here's Lisa to solve it. Trance schmance, Colombia, two to zero. Update those scores and get us to Japan versus Greece, Japan. What you got? It's Hakane Ekiden. It's an annual relay race among 20 or so Japanese universities where the shortest leg is a half marathon, and each team runs a total of 130 miles over two days. It's Japan's most watched sporting event. Participants run sub five minute miles every mile. In fact, a group of cyclists starts out ahead of the runners to enjoy the clear road, but they can't bike fast enough to stay out of the way. It's that fast. Greece comes back with Patharico. New Year's is huge in Greece, and its biggest part is Patharico, or the tradition of having the right person be the first person to walk in your home in the new year. The household arranges a visitor who is good-natured and lucky to be the first to enter right foot first. They walk in holding a pomegranate, which they break open at the door upon entering. The seeds that scatter symbolize luck and good fortune. The massive stains symbolize hours of scrubbing with hazardous chemicals. 
We didn't scare her away. Welcome back, Ann Norman. It takes just one good foot to win in soccer. Greece, two to one. Crunch time, it's Japan, Colombia, and Japan brings out the delay certificate. Around 20% of domestic flights in the U.S. arrive late. By comparison, the average delay of a Japanese train is under one minute. Japanese trains are so reliable that for as little as a five-minute delay in arrival, the railway company may issue a delay certificate, which is a piece of paper that blames the train for you rolling in late to school or work or an appointment. Delays of an hour or longer make the news. That's cool, but Columbia brings out mega diversity. Columbia isn't big. It's smaller than two Texases combined, and only about half of it is forest. Still, that area houses 10% of the world's biodiversity. Columbia trails only Brazil in sheer number of species. It's the global leader in orchid species, butterfly species, and amphibian species, and it contains more species of bird than all of Europe and North America combined. Columbia, come for the drug war, stay for the mega diversity. Coming back to decide this match, it's Eric Tomlinson. Japan wins 2-0. Now, if only they'd give you a certificate when your Shih Tzu eats your homework. All right, so closing out Group C, it's Ivory Coast, Greece, and Ivory Coast has toxic dumps. Pretend you're in Gibraltar with a tank of toxic waste. Okay, first you lie and try to dump it in Amsterdam. They call your bluff. Now, Nigeria, they offer to take your nasty stuff for a fee twice, but you say thanks but no thanks twice and sail to Abidjan in the Ivory Coast, whereupon private contractors take it and spread it open-air style throughout the poor parts of the city. This all happened in 2006. 17 killed, 30,000 injured. Greece's last shot, Medea. There once was a gal named Medea who'd kill you as soon as she'd see you. She knocked off her brother to flee with her lover, who then took another, who she also killed along with her dad, who happened to be the king of Corinth. Then she popped two of her kids who weren't on the killing bandwagon. Then she started seeing someone and tried to kill his son, then knocked off her uncle so her dad could take the throne of Colchis. <gasps> That's a treacherous family tree, huh? To close out Group C, we bring back Adam. Help us. That is one fierce queen. Ivory Coast, sashay away. 2-0. And that's it. With that, Greece and Japan go through. Greece with three wins and three matches. Ivory Coast with no goals in theirs. Come back for Group D. We're going to have a wirelessly waged war, a stiffed singer, and a mysterious monument made melodious. I like that one best. We'll see you then.